Hello and welcome back to the Grind Time NBA show. We're here, episode three, joined again by Chris Freeze with the Fresh Cut. How you doing, Chris? How's it going, everybody? Uh, I got I got my list of who we play for today for Nathan, and uh, I believe we're going over some uh, some top news yep, in the some, NBA. Some top news. So I don't know if you heard, but it looks like Ben Simmons is coming back. The Sixers. Yeah, to, to the Sixers. He uh he started losing money today or recently, yeah. so for missing practice and missing a preseason game or whatever. So yeah, I'm sure he's probably gonna come back. He's already lost like a million dollars, so he's like, you know what? Maybe not. That's so a, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it looks um, like it looks like it was all a bluff. Yeah, probably. Or maybe he I bet I bet it was. I bet it was a whole thing, and then the Sixers made that trade their proposal or, like, making trade proposals, like trying to put Ben Simmons' stock super high so that he thinks that I don't they're know valuable if that to makes, him. I don't know if that makes what? it higher. I don't know if that makes his value higher. What, trying to get yeah, he's like, better and more stuff from other teams? Yeah, he's like, I'm not coming back. Does that really make you want him as a Trailblazers fan? No. No. Yeah, and then he did. The no, whole, I mean like I, oh. I mean that like for the Seventy Sixers to make Ben Simmons think that they really want him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been said like Doc Rivers says we want him. Yeah, we want him back. Everyone's been saying they want him back, and then I don't know. It seems like seems like Clutch kind of screwed up. Clutch is the uh, the agency that he works with. It's his agent. Ah. Uh, um. I see, but. They're no, they're the big agent destination for big players, and it looks like they kind of screwed yeah. the pooch this time. Daryl Morey was tired of it. But, Let's see. So that's that. Other news: Kyrie Irving. Kyrie. The Nets announced that uh, they're like, nah, you're all in. Or you're yeah, not. not. Not yeah, no part time. So what not I'm that. expecting there is he's not going to play all season. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that happening. He seems like kind of like a stubborn guy too. Like he's, yeah, he's not gonna get vaccinated. Yeah, he no does chance. not care. He doesn't play on anybody else's schedule, at all. No. So. No. Yeah. Do you think the Nets can still win a championship without him? Yeah, honestly, I think they're just fine. Yeah. When you when you think about that seven game series with the Bucks, they pretty much almost beat the Bucks. They're about a uh, three inches. Katie's who's, foot. Who's, who is Kyrie's backup? Who is? Mm-hmm. Uh, Patty Mills. The man. The man. Yeah. Patty Mills is a god. Former Trailblazer. Yeah. Again. Former Trailblazers are the best in this show. Yeah. Alright, so that's it for big news. Some mm-hmm. other stuff's obviously happened. We're not too... We're not, a, we're not a preseason podcast. We're just getting ready for the season. So I haven't really been mm-hmm. paying attention. Do you know if the Blazers won their preseason game? Against the Kings, I saw they lost. They lost well a lot yesterday. Yeah. One two, not a yeah. good start, but we'll see. No. All right, I just wanted to, to put this in as a Trailblazers podcast. I saw this article: what to expect from all fifteen teams in the West, and they had them in car- categories. All right. Okay. And the championship contenders, they had three teams. Do you want to guess who they are? Uh, Suns, uh, Nuggets, or Suns, Lakers. Uh, uh, jazz. You're correct. Good job. And then after that, they have a section called Other Playoff Teams. <laughs> Do you want to guess who's in that? There's four teams. Uh, I'm going to go with Nuggets, Clippers, um, uh, I'm going to guess not the Blazers. Not the Blazers. And... Wait, so I said uh, n- Nuggets, Clippers... Uh, what, like the Grizz? Not the Grizz. There's two more. There's a big one you're missing. Who am I forgetting? M- Mavericks? Yep. Yeah. And um, then the Golden State Warriors are on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But, you know, no clay. It's like, hmm. So then there's keep an eye on. <laughs> keep an eye on. Tell it's, me at least the Blazers are in that. It's the Portland Trail Blazers and the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, yeah. So we're okay. in the same category. We're in the same, as the same category as the Memphis Grizzlies. Yep. Cool. Yep. 
So here's what it says about the cool, Trailblazers. Cool. The addition of Larry Nance Jr., who brings energy and defense and an inter- interior presence, makes the Blazers a better team. But of course, the question is, what does that make them good enough for Damian Lillard? Does that make them good enough for Damian Lillard? His mood will be the soap opera following Portland this season until he gets traded or gains confidence in this group. A full season with Norman Powell should help the latter. So here's the thing. Damian Lillard's demeanor and attitude has never once been a soap opera. Not at all. Everybody He's else been the makes most it a consistent soap opera. player. Yeah. He is like he is like boring at how calm and collected yeah. his demeanor is. It's boring. Yeah. Like his press conferences, like I don't want to listen to those. He doesn't get excited. No, super chill. No. It just chills. But, like, yeah, so I don't agree with that at all. I think we should definitely be in other playoff teams. Yeah. Especially with no Kawhi on the Clippers, no Clay until Christmas on the Warriors, yeah. no Jamal Murray in the Nuggets. Like, Dallas Mavericks can be ahead of us, sure. But are they really going to be have a better record than the Blazers? I don't know. I feel like not. But so, we'll who knows? I, I'm gonna put a. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put like a fifty dollar bet on the Blazers over this year. That's like, yeah, I might do that too. Yeah. So, I think it was at like forty three and a half or something. But yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. So yeah, other other we'll teams. Go, we'll go over five hundred. Yeah. So other teams, in the not this year was the Pelicans, Spurs, Rockets, Kings, Timberwolves, Thunder. In case you were wondering. Hmm. But with that, we're done with the news, and I'm ready for you to quiz me, man. All right. We're going to start out with guys that I don't think will be as hard. Um, I told you before we started that we're going to – I have, I have like, six guys that um, should be recognizable and then, like, four that are pretty much fresh out of college who got traded after the draft. So we'll see. Is this a Chris we'll Standards recognizable or normal NBA fans recognizable? Because like, um, a little. Wait, what was your first option? Chris, recognizable. Oh, oh so it would be um, easier than like Demar Derozan I'd say or Kyle ab- Lowry. <laughs> above the average NBA fan. Okay. Maybe. All right, we're gonna start off with Josh Richardson. So he had a stint with the Celtics and then the, the, the um, no no he's on the Celtics he was on the Sixers and then the Mavericks I think he's on the Celtics you got that one right yes. nice I feel like that was a I feel like that was a good good starting point that's pretty hard for a first one no chance in hell yeah, you man, got I, that he he traded no absolutely not I knew he was on the Mavericks I wouldn't have known where he went after that um, Taurine Prince. Okay, so he, where was he? Where was he last year? Tori and Prince. The only team that's coming to mind is the Hawks, but I know that's not true. I know he's not on the Hawks. Let's go. Um, let me see a list of NBA teams real quick. An article is going to pop up where it's like, yeah, it's like Prince Tori and what Prince. team? Okay, so... <laughs> He was on the nuts, Nets for a while, too. I don't think he's on that team, either. I think he was on the Raptors. He might be on the Raptors. He might be on the Raptors. I think I'm going right, to... I'm going to guess the Raptors. Incorrect. Okay, hold on. Is it the Grizzlies? No. Okay. Well, never mind. What is it? He is on the Timberwolves. Hard one. Yep. Damn it. Going back to a, a similar one is Josh Richardson. We're going to go with uh, Landry Shamet. Oh, did he get moved? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> He's not on the Nets anymore. He's Playing not. 2K would really help me. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, at this point last year, too. I played like four hours of my team a day. Yeah. 
and I yeah know. I would know a lot like the yeah I would have been I've known a lot more. Who is Landry Shaman on? Also, I picked guys that were at the very bottom of the salary for every team, pretty much. Is he on the Clippers? I'll give you a hint that he's in the Western Conference. So he's not the Clippers? No. Okay. I'll give you half a well, point now that I've told you that. My other guess was the Pelicans. Incorrect. He is on the Phoenix Suns. What? What happened to him? He was good at New- in Brooklyn. I know. Yeah, I think he'll be good in Phoenix, too. He was good. Yeah. Phoenix, another team I'm going to... team for a little while. Another team I'm going to bet the over on, Phoenix. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm getting beat up. You're giving me these hard Number, ones. You're one for three, and th- these aren't even the hardest ones, so let's see how it goes. Uh, Spencer Denwoody. The Washington Wizards. Good work. That was quick. Um, all right, we're going to go on to, uh, let's do Solomon Hill. Oh, dude. See, this one, I know he was do on you know, the Hawks. Do, we, do you know who he played for before? He was in the Hawks, wasn't he? Unless he still is. I don't know. Is he still on the Hawks? I guess so. He is? Yeah, he, went, he, he was in one of the traded one. I don't know. But yeah, you got that right. I remember him being on the Hawks and I thought I saw him get traded somewhere, but then he was, I thought maybe he will, will went somewhere and came back. So Last year was, was his first year on there. the Hawks, I think. Yeah. But I don't know where he played for. Played before. I think he might he might have been a Pelican before. I think that sounds right. Mm. Okay. Alright, these ones uh, well, there's one more there's one more that's going to be pretty hard, I think. I don't even know. I didn't even know who. I don't even know who he is. Bruno Fernando. Okay, he was in the Hawks, but is he still on the Hawks? No. Okay. Um. Where did he go? 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 For some reason, I feel like he's on the Celtics, but. I feel like I would have heard his name beforehand if he was on the Celtics. So I'm going to throw something else out there and go with who do I think signed Bruno Fernando? Mm-hmm. Who needs him? I'll go with a complete guess out of nowhere and say the Mavericks. Should trust your gut, man. Is it... No. On the Celtics. He's on the Celtics? God yeah. Damn it. I'm going to take a half point on that one. Okay. So I'm three and a no, half. Out of no, you got, that, you got that wrong. No, nope, three here. and a half. It's for myself. <laughs> yeah. On my three for six. Right, three for six in, in uh, the next yeah. one. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, so we're going to go with. Um, the, these are all rookies, I believe, this year. Okay. Uh, Keon Johnson. Keon Johnson. Keon. I have never heard of that guy before. Yeah, rookie. Can you tell but me what he round had, he, he was? He, he, was he, he had some. He oh, was. Okay. I, think, I think he was drafted thirty third overall. So that doesn't first matter what draft at all. <laughs> if you said first round, but I would he, like, was in, he was in a he was in a pretty so. big uh, trade. I think he was in that like four way trade with like the Spurs and the. Um, the Wizards. Yeah, I think he was in that re- the Westbrook trade with the Lakers and the um, and the Pacers and the you know. All of them. So he's on the Wizards. What? So he's on the Wizards. Is that your final answer? Yeah, sure. No, okay. he's on the Clippers. Well. well. All right, this guy, former Oregon State alum. Oh, are you going to – did Gary Payton say? Jared... Who? No, no, no. He's, still, he's a rookie. Jared Cunningham. Jared Cunningham. This guy was in the Beavers last year? Yeah. Yeah. What? And he got drafted? <laughs> yep. I think he's only high. 
Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch many Beaver Youths. Derek Cunningham. Dude, I don't know. I guess the Pacers. No. Pistons. God. You're kicking my ass. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now, let's see. Um, Keon Jared, Johnson is picked 21st. Jared Cunningham, you said? Yeah. Jared Cunningham was played for Oregon State in 20, 2009 to 2012. Oh, what? This man fit, played for the Clippers in 2015. I think what happened is I got mixed up when I was doing this, and the draft picks confused me. But, yeah, I think that was when I was looking at just the roster and picking, like, the guy with the lowest salary. So uh, I threw you off on that one. Sorry. We'll go. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah, bro. Next that guy one. has been relevant. He played for the Shanghai Sharks last year, dude. <laughs> maybe that's maybe I don't know. It's not even a real person to me. Well, he did. He, did he get drafted from? No. China. What's the thing? Is that a thing? No, because he already played in the NBA. He wouldn't get drafted. No. Oh. Okay. Well, threw you off. Pretend that, that that's a that's a no one void. That was just a throw in one for fun. Dude. All right. Well, that would have been crazy if I knew that one. Yeah. All right, Tyrell Perry. Dude, I don't know these. Supposed to be asking me who like Shangoon plays for. Who? Shangoon. Or like Josh Primo. You're supposed to be giving me lottery picks, Chris. <laughs> Tyrell Terry. You might not be a dra uh, recent draft pick. Oh, see, cause wait. did you go off Google? Let me look. Let me look. I know I went on. I went on the rosters. Okay, that's better. Google is wrong. Okay, is he on the Mavericks? I looked it up, but... Oh, what? Why sorry, I sorry. I, I looked it up. For some reason, I was like, I wanted to look up if this was an actual player. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course he's an actual player. He I know, the, but yeah, like He was on the Mavericks year. last year. And he still is. All right, let me look up this next one just to make sure I'm getting this right. I wasn't expecting to go this deep. You're actually doing decent. I uh, you should have gotten Bruno Fernando and you got Solomon Hill, so um yeah, okay, this guy's a rookie. Drafted from Ohio. His name is Jason Preston. He was the guy who was the second round pick. Uh first first Jason pick second round. Preston. Cleveland Cavaliers. Nope, Clippers. All right, so you went Dude. three. They're three and a half for nine. That, Not great. Whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. You gave me really hard ones. Yeah, well, the first five were were gettable, but you didn't you didn't get three of them. Yeah, Four which were them. the ones that were gettable that I didn't get? Bruno uh, Fernando. Torin Prince, Landry Shamit, Bruno Fernando, Keon Johnson. What team is Shamit on? I forgot. The Suns? Yeah. Well, realistically, how many of those would you have gotten? Uh, maybe Josh Richardson. Okay. But probably not. You don't think you would have gotten so Dinwiddie? Actually, no. No, it's, no, I didn't know Dinwiddie was on the, uh, the Wizards. Solomon Hill, maybe. I knew he was on the on the Hawks, but it might have tripped me up. Yeah, you confused me because it was like, wait, I didn't know he moved. Yeah. Oh, you didn't, and you didn't know Shamit moved. Yeah, but I knew he wasn't on the Nets. I think I pretty because it's like, I know I listen to some podcasts and like they're always like, look at this Nets roster, and they like list like eleven names, and I'm like, 
Yeah. I'm like, oh. But Shaman's not one of them. Nope. But, damn. Alright, we'll have to do another one of these during the season, and then I'll I'll get all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to do one for me during the season too. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. We got a Rocket League tournament to play in right now, so yes, we do. We will see everybody next week, and I think the start of the season is next week. Uh, comment your record on that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, insert insert a little edit in there and say like, play along with us, and tell us what you got. All right. Right. I bet everyone who watches will do better than you would have, Chris. I guarantee they will. All right. Adios.